Okay. I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to... Is this episode eight? I think this is episode eight of Full Song One Hour. So I think it's been going great, this little experiment of mine where I make a song in an hour. I have seven new songs now, and that's pretty awesome. I feel like it takes a long time to generate new music sometimes, but for some reason when the camera's on and the live stream is on, even if no one's watching, the possibility that someone might <laughs> makes me really focused. So I'm enjoying this. It's Saturday in Los Angeles. Um, I just got a shipment, actually. I don't know if you can see this. Let me take this. In the mail today, I got this. Shipped from my studio in New York. It is one of my favorite um, analog pieces of equipment. The Korg Volca Bass. I'm going to be using it today in the stream to demonstrate kind of how easy it is to use and some of its capabilities. But if you're looking to go analog and you want some cool sounds, but you don't want to spend that much money, the Korg Volca bass is unmatched. I think it's like, it's less than $200, but it can do arpeggiators. It gives you that classic techno pluck. song starter and if you're making any sort of modern electronic music or pop music or anything you could find use for this I think they also have a drum uh, instrument and something else but yeah I want to buy all of them I think they're great super lightweight you can travel with it you can just make a song on it like you can unplug it and just mess around it literally has a little speaker like one of my favorite things to do is just like go sit somewhere in public and just like program <laughs> program beats <laughs> just by myself people watching it's great so new addition to the studio is the korg volka bass and this episode is not sponsored by them but i'm sure one day they'll come around Anyways, as always, y'all not here to listen to me talk. You're here to watch me make music. I was up late last night. I was acting in one of my friend's uh, comedy sketches all day yesterday. It was like a 14-hour shoot, and it looks great. It was super fun, but I'm tired. I got back at like 2.30 a.m., Got up this morning, matcha green tea, pumpkin croissant. That's my rehabilitation for the day. Also making music. So we're gonna revive our spirits via techno, or whatever the hell I decide to make today. Let me get this light on. All right, timer starts now. <laughs> tell a story too as I try and do sometimes um, I'm just trying to think of the right story to tell as I quantize this look at all these perfect little analog plucks 
See, this is gold right here. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna clamp this down. There we go. All right, I'm gonna tell the story of the first time I played polo because that was a hell of a day. I don't know if anyone is familiar with the, the game of kings, polo, where you ride a horse and you carry this big stick with a thing at the end of it and the objective is to lean off the horse and hit the ball. And if you do that, Pam, you're good at polo, but you also want to score goals and pass it to your teammates. So, it's a hard sport. People fall off these things and break their necks. And I have horse experience, but I'm not like galloping across vistas in the canyon like being a cowboy and shit. You know, I've ridden horses before. But polo, you gotta be able to ride this thing and, and hit the ball. It's not easy. But my friend, loves polo it's like his thing he's weird he likes all these like weird sports that <laughs> no one actually plays but he he, you know, he actually plays these sports so it's fun because uh he introduces me to a lot of new things and i'm usually like the fuck dude why would we play polo you know but he's like dude trust me and he's always right every time it's great but, that being said... We're gonna get some percussion in here. Done. So he signs us up for classes. And it's last summer, we're in the Hamptons. A lot of my stories are in the Hamptons because it's just a great place. Drums, percussion. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that is cool. I like this thing. where it takes us so I'm very hungover and now I'm expected to go and get yelled at by this Argentinian Esteban for an hour and a half while riding a horse while trying to hit things the ball while riding this horse but you know, this is like kind of basic. 
And that's never what we want when we're making these songs. sound like that. All right, let's go. So we show up and it's this Argentinian Esteban and he's like, so you want to play polo? I don't see it. He has no confidence in us, which he shouldn't. We look very, well, my friend, he, he has boots and everything. I'm just showed up in like jeans. And like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, you know? But I'm an athlete, okay? No matter what the sport is, Give me a fucking stick. Give me a fucking ball. I don't give a shit. I'm going to be good at it. And polo was no different. The second I got on that horse, I felt majestic. I felt beautiful. And I felt empowered. And then I understood immediately, this is why people play polo. Because it makes you feel like a fucking legend. <laughs> So we go right around and we're hitting the ball and it's really, really fun. Don't you worry about a thing. I should be more nervous. But for some reason, I'm very chill. And we get up on the horse and we're hitting it. I'm doing great. I'm doing a really good job. I'm making solid contact. I'm feeling like this is something I can be good at. We don't actually play a game, but running around these horses, hitting them, looking great, passing it to each other. The Argentinian's like, that's a great pass! Except he's not British. I don't know. That's a great pass. No, then. I, I forgot how to do it. some chordal information to make it emotive. 
the Argentinian Esteban. And apparently there's a big polo scene in Argentina. And you can go and do these trips where you drink wine and play polo for a week. Now, that doesn't sound like the greatest thing ever. I mean, who doesn't want to drink Argentinian wine, hang out with Argentinian people, and ride horses and hit balls? Like, that to me just sounds like a great trip. All right. What, what is have our lesson. I'm sore as hell, but I'm feeling really confident. And we get invited to a house party later, which is great because we just played polo. And you know how fucking cool it is to go to a house party and people are like, what have you done today? And you're like, hmm, not much. Just played a little bit of polo. Yeah, you want to be that guy. Trust me. <laughs> And I was that guy, and I hope to be that guy again. No, I'm always that guy. But um, what do we got here? No. Oh. That's like that. That's like that bad bunny sound. All right, let me get a sub under here. 45 minutes left. I don't know where we're taking this, but we're gonna take it somewhere. So I guess the story continues. Nice. God, I love that sound. Da -na. I like simple motifs like that. Da -na. I think I can sense that being the motif of the song. It's just like sometimes it's just how something sounds, two notes, how it sounds together. So we go to this party and it's a beautiful fucking massive house. The owner of the house has like literally like help, you know, servants, not servants, but like people that are there to just clean and cook and they make this huge steak meal, the best, one of the best meals I've ever had. And let me see, shit. Silent one, silent one, silent one, SM101. Sometimes I forget SM101 superstar sounds. I'm telling you, this noise rise 
Every noise rise. It is true. This noise rise is every noise rise. I think I can do it for this much. And there we go. Legato. Now I'm going to freeze this so I can see the audio file and I don't have to guess. All right. Great. And then I also like to just clip this little end of this noise right here, reverse that, and then save it for later. As you know, I'm also going to get my pan effects out of the way because I'll be using those later as well. We're already charting where the song is going to go. Does that mean we're not being creative? God, I hope not. I'd be defeating the purpose of this whole thing. I do not want this to turn into a formulaic expression of creation. Because that would be the epitome of hypocrisy. And I strive to not be a hypocrite. Even though inevitably I am human. And I am a hypocrite. It is part of human nature. We say things that we just do the opposite. I literally, I, I'm like a reverse manifester. Okay, let's see. Yay! They thought I couldn't do it, but I did it. And then everyone said, damn, I wish I would have believed in him from the beginning. And I said, well, I'll still be your friend, but you will never have my trust. Okay. Let's see hear it now but I promise you it's already happened the song's already made I can already hear it it's gonna be sick I can just get an open hi-hat that it's worth I like the first one. I... Yeah, yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, like I'll say one thing very convincingly and then I'll, like literally the opposite will happen. I want to get these drums a little bit crunchy. Give me the delay here. Delay, 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 delay. <laughs> it's already happened, baby. You just got, you just didn't believe. You just didn't believe, baby. But I told you from the start that this is the way this was going, right? I told you from the start this is where this was heading.
I said, I told you from the start where this was heading. Come on now. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Something about polo in this party. Oh yeah, so he had this like great spread laid out. <laughs> All these hot girls were there. And it was great, you know, because when, when, when a beautiful woman asks you, what, how have you spent your time? When a beautiful woman asks you, how have you spent your time? Right? <laughs> You don't want to say, oh, yeah, I've just been uh, sitting on my ass all day playing video games. She's not going to fucking care about you. You want to say, I played polo with the boys. <laughs> Look at me now. I'm getting horses. All right, where is the... I like this thing right here, you know? And she goes, oh, you playing polo with the boys? And you say, I, I've always wanted to play polo before. I'm like, oh yeah? Well, it's kind of my thing. She goes, oh really? Maybe you can take me to play polo one time. I'm like, you know, that wouldn't be a bad thing after all. That sounds like a great date. And now all of a sudden you got a date with the 10. The fuck? It's easy, boys. Just play polo. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Man, I don't know. And look. You don't have to do anything. But there, when you're dealing with an extraordinarily attractive woman, you have to offer something that's different than just every other fucking guy that's trying to talk to her. And if you do things like play polo, surf, ski, Court tennis is another one that my same friend also introduced me to. You're just going to be more interesting and you're going to have things to talk about and you're going to open yourself up to new experiences, forms of confidence, forms of confidence. And all of a sudden you'll be going on dates with dimes, with 10 out of 10s, right? And when I say 10 out of 10, I'm not even just talking about attractiveness, all right? That's the thing everyone thinks. Oh, he's you, trying to date tens. He's trying to only go out with hot girls. Like, well, yeah, first of all. But second, uh, 10 is a measurement of soul, heart, attractiveness, and intelligence. <laughs>
think life is too short to not date tens. You know, if you are a 10 out of 10 yourself, why settle? It's unbecoming of you and it looks bad and it reflects on how you view yourself, really. And I don't know about you, but I like to be confident. I like to view myself in a high regard. I know that's really trendy to be like depressed, but fuck that. You're gonna look back and be like, why was I depressed? I was young. I had options. I had a life. the whole phrase right there we've got 29 minutes left let me move this up and so that's what I'm trying to say is don't be depressed sometimes you have to be right I go through cycles of extreme confidence to middle ground confidence to batshit confidence to no confidence but what I've realized, though, that the times that I am depressed, I need to be. I need to slow down. I need to rethink. As an artist, I need to understand my human limits. And as good as I can, rethink how I'm doing things and then approach life with a new sense of confidence. <laughs> freak out when I would go into little depressive blocks and think it would happen for me. Like, oh god this is gonna this is what it's gonna be like from now on but everything is temporary right everything is temporary nothing is permanent in fact when I went to Iceland um, at the end of August I showed up there in Reykjavik 
and I had no place to stay. I just brought a tent, so I was going to camp there for 21 days, which is what I did. But I was super tired, and I was freaking out, and I was like, what the fuck did I do? This is a stupid thing to do. I don't have a place to stay, and this is Iceland. It's fucking cold and rainy all the time. And then I went to this concert, and pretty much the concert was literally started. When you are born, you start dying. Nothing is permanent. So you must live now. Something like that. <laughs> Decapitator. Dun dun. <laughs> I don't like how this thing sounds in Alright, right, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. We got 25 minutes left. And that concert spoke directly to my soul because I was being a little bitch. I was like, oh my God, why did I go on this trip? I should leave. I don't, can't handle it. It's Iceland. It's, it's cold. It's Reykjavik. Everyone here is mean. The Nordic, right? They're all mean. No, they're not. They just don't like pussies. Which I was one. When I got there. That shit turned me straight to a man. <laughs> gonna be safe. And once I realized I was gonna be safe because I got this message directly from this music, I said, you know what? The eternal is on my side and I must act accordingly. And I will go out and venture into Iceland to discover something of myself that I have yet to discover. And I will return to America a full man. Because America has not raised me to be a man. It has raised me to be a fighter. It has raised me to be a capitalist. It has raised me to be a worker, a businessman. It has raised me to be many good things, but not a man. And I'd want to be a man so I can date tens. Oh, there we go. One more.
more bass sound in here. Full song, one hour, 22 minutes left. And we're like grooving and schmoozing over here. And you know the best part about Iceland is that it's very green. And Greenland's very icy, but it was a, such a beautiful country. I saw the Northern Lights twice. I think I'll save that story for like a full episode. But yeah, this concert really spoke to me. And I think it taught me that fear is made up. It doesn't matter. It does. Anytime we think about doing something, we immediately fear tells us all the reasons why it's not going to work. excited for the tournament games today too. I don't know. I love the NCAA tournament. All right. So then I want to want something right here, I believe. Let's see. I think I went a little nuts on the previous streams. But I'm an artist. It's bound to happen, you know. You cage me up in this little box of a studio here and give me a freaking access to Twitch. Some days I might just go off, you know. <laughs> an actual base, you know? Give me something I can wrap my legs That's something I can wrap my legs around for sure. A nice chunky bass like that. Let's listen back and see what we've got.
on this. Nice. First we go down, then we go up. There we go. Then we do this. Nope. Then we do this. All right. Now let me get my sub here. Quick. Ask me why. She is. It's kind of a disgusting sound, but fuck it. I don't have much time left. All right, let's see.
in time for the breakdown. Dun -dun. And I don't know if I'll have time to add another drop. So we might just fuck around and do some ambient shit. We got 11 minutes. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we can do. I still don't even know the key of this song, which continues to happen in these sessions. Do 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 do. All right. There we go. That's what I want. fucking easy. All right, let's see.
five minutes left. You know, towards the end, I just stopped talking because I do actually need to finish this song. <laughs> See, I figured that'd be a cool motif for this. Get me out of that. Just get me out of that, though. Let's do this. I want the effect tricks to be like that, right? To be like that. <laughs> Another, another discovery. <laughs>
50 seconds left, and this is what I'm going to decide to do with my time. I just really like this, so I want to turn it into a synth if I can, please, for some ambience. Uh, 15 seconds left. Fuck. I'm done. song thank you for being here I hope you learned something about polo dating dimes and yeah mainly that's what I wanted to say I want to talk about polo and dating tens or music is secondary to that conversation but let's hear the song and see how it sounds clocking in at two minutes and 50 seconds it's definitely an interesting song. It's beat driven. Um, but yeah, let's take a listen. switch up the last drop to add some more interesting sounds and whatnot, which I'm in, I'm gonna do that anyways, but rules are rules, we gave ourselves an hour, and this is what we came up with. I think I'm gonna call this 10 Horses. It kinda sounds like a horse. Definitely sounds like a horse. All right, that's the song. This is full song, one hour, episode eight. Thank you for watching, posting all these to YouTube, and yep, my stream schedule is posted. I'll update it for next week. Uh, sorry if anyone tuned in yesterday and I missed. 
I was busy acting, which was really, really fun. Um, unexpected, but when you get the call, you gotta go. 10 Horses, Full Song One Hour, Episode 8. Thank you. Have a great weekend.